Welcome to Reddit Topics, where we make videos from comments on Ask Reddit. Plus, I may tell a joke every now and then. So, if you enjoy the content, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Let's get into the stories. Today we're going to be looking at the Reddit post, Sex Workers of Reddit, who was the grossest customer you've had? The guy that refused to accept that condoms were required, kept offering more and more money. It ain't about the money. If you want it raw within minutes of meeting someone, how on earth am I supposed to trust that it's safe? Pro tip, it's never ever safe. When I was a phone girl, I'd have pedophiles call me and want me to pretend to be their six-year-old daughter, niece, or neighbor girl. Phone worker here. I had a guy who wanted me to put bodily excrements, roleplay on him. I was so stumped. So I said, if you've been a bad boy, I'll pee on your face. If you've been a bad boy, I'll poo in your mouth. Cue the minute-long groaning, grunting, and screaming. The guy did with what I could only assume was the filthiest, never-ending tsunami of spunk, followed with a thank you mistress. I logged off for the day and did other things. I have no problem with kinks and fetishes, but he acted like he won the lottery. Not a sex worker, but I went to a strip club once when I was 28. One of my best friends growing up had a sister 8 years younger than us. She walks on stage and we make eye contact. I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna go play video poker. Objectively, she grew up to be pretty hot, but too weird. I'm not a sex worker, but I did run a bar opposite one of Edinburgh's infamous saunas, sort of a legal brothel the police turn a blind eye to. Anyway, the girls used to come into my bar once their shift was over for a well-earned drink and so I got to know some of them pretty well. Inevitably, conversations would turn to their clients' kinks. Two spring to mind. The high court judge who came in to be spanked and to be told he needed to be punished. Not that exciting, but the one I can never forget was the peanut butter man. He would come in the day before with a massive bag of peanuts for his favorite girl and book an appointment the next day where the girl would crack on him and he would smear it all over himself saying I'm the peanut butter man over and over I could never get that image out of my head I wouldn't kink shame anyone the worst thing is when a guy smells gross or tries to haggle with me take a shower before we get naked please A friend of mine worked in the office for an escort agency. The grossest story she told me was about a guy who seemed to have a thing for cutting women up with his long fingernails. After the first complaint, he was put on the list of don't accept bookings from this guy slash number. But he kept using burners and different names. And every time the girl would complain that he basically only wanted to finger them. But he had long sharp nails and had a habit of scraping and then get agitated when asked to stop. Then he'd leave. I'm a part-time cam girl. One day, a guy paid me $30 to watch him masturbate and barking while wearing socks on his ears. Lasted less than a minute and it was very surprising. My wife's best friend is a very successful cam girl. She was pregnant and some dudes were paying her thousands to watch her take her pregnancy supplements. She made an absolute fortune when she was pregnant. He would make baby sounds to her while she did it. He would check in on her and make sure that she was hydrated and well fed. He started gifting organic foods over Amazon. I personally saw her play Jenga with her clothes on and dudes were bidding for which piece to move. I couldn't believe my eyes. I still don't. Someone paid her thousands to have dinner one night. She hired security and he paid for the security to make sure he didn't touch her. It became a steady gig. Free food and thousands of dollars. She started doing the GFE thing for a while too. 
From being a stripper, this guy smelled gross. Paid for five minutes in a private room. Everything goes well. The typical no touching private parts thing. He didn't want to pay for more time, so I was putting my clothes back on. And then he just hugged me really tight and kneeled and tried to lick my lollipop. Dude offered me $500 to adopt a dog and have sex with it. I very firmly declined. Was a stripper. The ones who tell you that you look like their daughter, daughter's friend, etc. are pretty gross. Foot fetish dudes would come in at the end of the night and the sweatier your feet, the better. Most girls love them though because they give amazing foot rubs and pay you for it. Had a guy come in and lay on the floor and pay me to try to fart on his face. He was dressed like Carlton on Bourbon Street. Honestly, a lot of girls like ones like this too. They pay really well and you don't have to really do any work. I had a guy who just wanted me to spit full globs of phlegm in his mouth while laid on his back with his mouth open. I'm really grossed out, but I just can't deal with copious amounts of spit or phlegm. It took so much effort not to gag, just seeing it slide past his tonsils. On the other end of the spectrum, I had a guy who liked to just lay on the sofa while I sat on him and watched TV. Human furniture fetish is definitely my favorite type of booking. The one who left skid marks on my sheets because he couldn't wash his behind properly. The one who basically crapped himself and expected sex to continue. The one who asked if he could come over with three of his friends after midnight on a weeknight. So was obviously high on something and only offered me $50 a piece to run a train. And he honestly thought it was a fair offer after looking at my hourly rate of $600. The numerous men who didn't understand how to wash under their foreskins. The numerous men with insulting offers for bareback love and absolutely no history of being checked for STIs because I'm married so I'm clean. Like that wedding ring has some spell or repel chlamydia on it. It's mostly the hygiene factor, honestly. If you have a weird fetish that most people would consider gross, but you're respectful about bringing it up and you adhere to as many hygiene precautions as possible and you're prepared to pay well for it, sex workers won't care. Not a prostitute, but I was sexting with a customer who wanted to rub my vagina juices all over his gums because all of his teeth had been removed the year prior and had been replaced with metal plates in his gums. He said this all in the same breath. So, former cam girl here. I would assume this guy was trolling, but he seemed so earnest and had already tipped me like $600 that night. So, I have a cat and he wanted me to get a piece of cat crap from the litter box, put it in my butt and then poop it back out for him. He said he had $3,500 to spend to make it happen. Obviously, I didn't do it and decided that was enough camming for me that evening and bid him a good night. Still, I think about that guy a lot. I wonder if he ever got anybody to do it. Condom avoiders, those who just plain reek of B.O., cheesy feet, dirty behinds, too many cigarettes and who were complete strangers to a toothbrush. People who were scabby and scaly, with suspicious sores in places you definitely don't want to see lesions. The guy who loved people to fart on him and in his mouth wasn't too flash either, but you gotta laugh out of it at least. I worked at a sex store. We have a guy whose kink is cleaning. He went to the arcades, glory holes and cinemas and pulled all the used condoms out of the garbage can and ate the cum in them. We also have a dude that likes to lick doorknobs and another who smells the used paper towels. Not my story, but I heard it from a friend. You know how girls will spit on your Johnson to lube it before blowing you? There was this customer who told his girl for the night that it was wasteful to spit on his Johnson and requested that she spit in his mouth instead. Every time she spit in his mouth, he would give her $10. Not really a sex worker, but I stripped for a bit in college. The amount of older guys saying things to me like, tell me your real age, or 
Don't worry, your little secret is safe with me. While grinning terribly was always gross. I look young, so that wasn't very pleasant. It got worse when they would try and blackmail me into actual sexual contact by saying they'd reveal my actual age. Fortunate, I was 19, so could just tell them to go ahead and do it. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. I'll see you on the next story.